Okay, so we just created a grid of points in the X and Y directions. Now let's, tr let's modify our script and use a different type of input so that we can create points on a surface. And what this is going to allow us to do is work with lists, which will cover the uh, topic of uh, what append does, as well as evaluation uh, relative to surface geometry. Right? So this is kind of where we're going. Uh, we're going to create some points on a surface. <clears throat> and in order to do so, um, let's talk a little bit more about um, the labels that we were, or the names that we were describing as the inputs and outputs of our Grasshopper Python object, right? Those names are really variables, right? So numx is a variable, and variables allow us to store data, which we can um, capture later by calling its name, right? So whenever we want to use numx, we just use that, uh, that name to get whatever is stored inside there, right? So um, here's a diagram, right? Uh, we can think of our variable as a container, kind of storage device, so that whatever data we have, in this case, let's say 12, for the number of points we want to have in the x direction, take that uh, data, 12, and store it in numx, right, our variable, right? Now, sometimes um, you want to be able to store more than just one bit of data, and that's where we get into a conversation on lists, right? But before we get there, we need to recap uh, where our point objects are going to exist, which is going to be on a surface, right? And in Rhino, surfaces are NURBS geometry that are defined by a two-dimensional parameter space. So instead of X and Y, we're going to be working through U and V. In a lot of ways, they're similar, right? They're kind of a two-dimensional space, but relative to surfaces, those two dimensions are labeled as U and V, and that will allow us to create points on a surface, not by x, y, z definition, but by u, v uh, definition, right? So we're going to keep that in the back of our minds as we go to define points on a surface. Um, and the way that we're going to store not just one point, but multiple points in the same way that we did just a second ago with append is that we're going to use a variable type that's called a list. So a variable can store one piece of data, right? One number or my name, right, or one point, or one surface. If we want to store multiple things uh, under the same name, we're going to use a list, right? So the, a list is really just a collection of things, right? Each thing, um, we're calling it a thing so that it's understood generically, uh, whether it doesn't matter if it's a point or a number, right? Each thing is stored in a particular location in the list, we can access that particular item by an index, right? So lists are really uh, absolutely necessary when we're working in Grasshopper. They're a part of how Grasshopper deals with things. So if you've worked with um, <clears throat> if you've worked with Grasshopper and let's say you've taken a curve and divided it into a certain number of points, you're going to get a list. If I divide a curve by ten subdivisions, that's going to give me 11 points, which are going to be on a list. So here are all my items stored on a single list with an associated index for each item. So when we were doing the append action, we started by defining the name of our list. We called it A. Right? So if this said A, the first time we move through our counter, we're going to say A append my point. So my point goes onto the list. Then the next time we go through the counter, we say a append my point, which is the next one. That gets put onto the next position on the list, and on and on as we move through our counter. So append just adds something to a list at the end. All right? And so here's the collection of points on a surface that we're going to achieve. Right? In addition to append with our list, we're going to have other options that we can use that are beyond the scope of what we're going to be looking at today, but here are some other useful methods that you might use um, very quickly if you go further, like reversing the list, etc. Um, so let's go ahead and work with creating points on a surface. 
Right. So to give a get a quick preview of where we're going, here's file one dash two. All right. So here we have a little bit more information um, than what we had in the last file. Uh, we're now giving uh, something that we're storing inside of Grasshopper as an input. And uh, we're also going to see what we get as an output uh, from A in another way beyond just seeing it through the panel. We're going to use a pointless display. All right. So again, this file is here for you to reference. It's got more information inside of it. And we're going to build this now from scratch. All right. So um, let's go ahead and do a new file. Right. And the objective here is that we're going to create a grid of points on a surface. So we need a surface, right? Let's go ahead and create a simple surface in Rhino. I'm gonna do that by defining a rectangular plane. All right, so I'm just going to create a simple surface and it can be flat if, um, if you want it to be. Um, I'm just going to give it a little bit more definition. So I'm going to rebuild it and turn the control points on so that I can, so it can be a little bit more curvy. Take those points, move them down, take those points, move them up. All right, now we've got a simple surface. All right, great. Here's our uh, simple surface. Okay, so <laughs> the key here is that we're going to create points on a surface, right? So the first thing we want to do is let's get our surface into Grasshopper. So if we go to params, geometry, surface, this is our surface container um, that allows us to reference this geometry from Rhino. So let's go ahead and right click that object and say set one surface. Choose our surface, hit OK. Turn the preview off so we can see things a little bit better. All right, so this is our, if I group this and label it, our input surface. Now, creating a grid of points on a surface um, is easily achievable inside of Grasshopper, but um, we're going to do it first in, uh, in Python. Uh, a good um, kind of technique for uh, developing your skills in Python inside of Grasshopper would be to try to replicate objects that already exist so you have a reference for whether or not you're achieving them in a successful way. Right? And you can look at the differences between how you did it and um, how the Grasshopper object did it. All right? So we're going to start there, but after we do, we've done that, we're going to then kind of explore some options that aren't necessarily as easily achievable inside of Grasshopper. Okay, so uh, we have our input surface, and the next thing we want to do is drop in our Python component from math script, Python script. All right, and let's go ahead and um, go in here and define our pseudocode. So we're going to open this up, and uh, our pseudocode uh, from now on is always going to start with importing the Rhino script. syntax module, right? And then the next um, set of actions are going to start to be familiar from what we did last time, but we have to make sure that we are specifying um, that they occur relative to a surface. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to create multiple points on a surface, so we need to make sure that our output can receive multiple inputs. So how did we, um, what did we say in our last pseudocode that allowed us to supply multiple values to A, our output? Yes, A needs to become a list. So if we um, continue our pseudocode, define output as a list. All right, so we know, now know what a list is, so this should be, uh, make a little, start to make a little bit more sense. So A equals our brackets. That's beyond pseudocode, but since we um, 
since we were just talking about it and it's simple, let's go ahead and just do that. Okay, so the next step is that uh, we want to we want to work through the two dimensional space of our surface. Now, in the last example, we worked through the two dimensional space of x and y. So we're going to work through the two dimensional space of the surface, which is labeled uh, conventionally u and v. And how can we move through that two dimensional space? What kind of structure can we do? Can we use to incrementally move through that space? If you have a suggestion, go ahead and type it in the questions window. You got it. We are going to create a loop to step through U, right? <clears throat> if we're stepping through U, what do you think we're going to do next? The other dimension of our space is V, right? We're going to create a loop to step through V. Perfect. Right? So tab one more time in. So we're inside of our second loop. And now we need to find out how to actually create our points. Now, we did the add point method before so that we could... Uh, define x, y, and z coordinates, and it produces a point at that location in x, y. Um, but for our surface geometry, we have to use a slightly different method. So let's say that for now, let's make a note to ourselves that we want to create a point on the surface, and then we'll go ahead and figure out exactly how to do that through the help menu. So the next step is that we want to create a point on the surface, and our reference here is it's got to be in UV space, right? Okay, so if we've created a point, what's our next step? It's great to create a point inside the Python script editor, but let's say we want to use those points later on in Grasshopper. We have to do what? Right on, you guys are sharp. We need to tell the Python script to add the point to the output, right? And we know this happens through our list. So we're going to append the point to our list for output. <clears throat> okay, great. Pretty simple script, right? in terms of the pseudocode. 